In this video, I will show you how to print and assemble Dummy 13 Deadpool version. Okay, the model is on Maker World website. This is the Deadpool Dummy 13 Model V1. It has been updated to match Dummy 13 version 1.0. And uh, you're gonna go to this website, link in the description, Open in Bamboo Studio. Once you click in Open in Bamboo Studio, you'll see it like this. There are four plates. The first one is the armor, second one is the frame, the third one is the guns and holsters and swords, and the fourth is the head. I have modified the files to make it easier for you guys. So this one and this one will print with no supports and no brim. Important. Turn off the supports for this too and turn off the brim. Turn off the brim. This one will print with three supports and you have to turn on brim inner and outer just to make sure that you get this piece to print well enough the last one is the head for the head you don't need three supports turn it off leave outer and inner brim and it'll print just fine now to the assembly now for the assembly i'm gonna speed it up and sometimes you can just pull the parts like this so it's pretty easy and self-explanatory well, now to the armor plate. That's just uh, the lo my logo of the YouTube channel and the logo for my designs. And this one is just a coin that I did for the Deadpool. Um, now that we have both, let's just start. Oh, I wanted to show you the, the, the head. So the head has been redesigned. I made the, the inner uh, orifice larger so that it can fit the new Dummy 13 V1.0 design. So let's just take the chest plate and the and the waist and start building. Okay, so we have um, separated some of the core, the um, some of the frame and some of the armor. And notice how these two pieces are one short and one long. So there will be differentiated. So make sure that you notice that. Separate them because we're gonna start using the short one. That's what we're gonna use in this assembly. Now we're gonna take it like so and just attach it and this is inside the hips is the first assembly that we're gonna do this uh, first part of the assembly is the hips so it should just um, slide in like that and so you have your first piece of the hips now let's put the top part of the hips you will this is the correct way and it'll click or snap in in place so make sure that you completely push it inward like that it should be almost flushed so now we're gonna use a large piece for the stomach that piece that you're looking at right now is a stomach and it should also click like that and you insert it now you're gonna add the stomach to the hips and now you have the first part all the core now let's assemble the chest piece. You'll notice that this piece fits right in this other one, just like that. And then let's go to the chest plate, which is part of the armor. You will press it just like that, press it to place, and it should click like that. So now you have the chest assembled. So now let's take the chest and add the shoulders. So click in place, pretty easy. Like so. Now let's add the two pieces together so that we can form the torso. There you go. Now we have the torso. Now we're gonna form the neck. This piece goes in the middle of this uh, three section piece, and that's the part of the neck itself. One will be connected to the head and the other one to the torso. So with the insert, I'm gonna press it in like that, and it should click like so.
let's add, let's assemble the insert that goes inside of the head so that we can attach the neck to the head. Just gonna press it in like that. Make sure the flat piece is on the back of the head and then push it in. And then just click it on top of the neck, just like that. It'll be a little bit harder to push, but it should still click in place. And now we have a torso with a head. Now, it's important to remember the frame I printed in PETG and that's because it makes it sturdier. Okay, now we're gonna assemble the foot and you're gonna grab this toe piece with the foot itself. Snap it in place together, like so. Now, these two pieces are part of the frame. See how it's been redesigned to rotate like that? It fits just uh, so much better on the new Dummy 13 version 1.0. So this uh, frame goes inside of the armor and this is just a thigh. So look at, uh, apologies for the out of frame takes. Um, I wasn't, I was recording the video myself, but um, at least you can see it here. It is important to note that um, I didn't, in this video, I didn't assemble the gun holster, but you should. I recommend if you're gonna put the gun holster, then this is where you're gonna apply the gun or assemble the gun holster on top of the thigh, like in the small video on the right. Then you're gonna add the joint or the uh, knee joint piece and you have the thigh completed. Now this part is for the calf. This will go in, you're gonna insert it like this. Apologies again for the out of frame video. And it snaps in place just like that. It's, it's pretty easy. So one will be assembled to the foot and the other one to the actual uh, knee joint like that. And then I forgot to separate, but this is the kneecap. So bend the leg just like that, and then just add the kneecap, like so. And as a reminder, if you add the gun holster first, then you'll, you know, just be careful when you're assembling the rest of the leg together. But I recommend you to add the gun holster at this point, right before you assemble the knee and the knee um, and the knee joint, so that you, you know you can have your gun holster attached to the leg already at this point. And then you're gonna add this piece to the foot. And that's how you add the foot to the leg. Just clicks like that. All right. Now let's add the leg to the waist like that. And then there's a, there's a cap that goes over the right hand side of the leg. that we're gonna add right now. Just like that. Perfect. Let's fast forward for the second leg. And then let's do arms. And like that, now you have a standing figure. Now it can stand by itself. Now we're gonna assemble this piece for the frame that goes inside the arm. I rotate it just to make sure that it will be able to rotate and it loses it a little bit. So you're gonna insert this. This is the, um, what we're doing is the biceps right now. So you'll see how the one end connects to the elbow and the other end connects to the shoulder. So that little piece that I just attached is the shoulder and the bottom end will attach with the elbow, just like this. Sorry, again, for the out of frame take, but I think it's good enough that you should be able to put it together. So let's put the frame into the forearm, like that, it should snap. Just be gentle because I, in one of my assemblies, I broke the forearm trying to put the hand in there. So be mindful of the orientation of the elbow here, because it should bend like that to the back of the forearm, just like that. And then we're gonna attach a hand just to show you 
and this is a little bit harder, uh, but it should snap into place. However, if you do, be careful because you can break. I think this is the piece that I broke on the forearm. I replaced it with another one, and then you just attach it to the to the shoulder like that. I um, I had snapped it as you can see in the video, but I replaced it for another one. So let's do the other arm, fast forward for the other arm, and then put it in place. Now, um, I added some additional footage to show you how to attach the gun holsters because I did not uh, attach it to, the, to this build, but if you wanted to, um, I'll show you here in a minute. Now, what I'm attaching is the back piece. That's for the holders. When you want to put it in a stand, when you want to put your uh, figure in a stand, you will attach that back piece like that. Also, what I'm doing right here, I'm going to do the hands that have a gun attached. So these were harder to push, but you can still attach it. On the other hand, I attached the um, open hand that is holding. Uh, you can put guns or you can put anything that you print. In this case, I'm gonna attach one of the swords and you just slide it in, like so. Now let's explain how to add the gun holster. So be careful when you remove the supports. It should be easy, but be careful because you can break the, the bottom piece is like real thin and you can break it. So make sure that you use some uh, pliers or cutters like mine, and then um, you should be able to take the supports out. Now you're gonna insert it like this. I'm sorry again for the out of frame take. <laughs> you're gonna insert it like that and then add the leg back again. And make sure that you push it upward and then add the knee joint like that. And now you can put the gun inside the gun holster. Let's put the knee cap on top. Let's put it back on your articulated Deadpool figure. Snap it back and then add the cap of the hip. Like that. And now you have your two gun holsters. Just like that. Now, I want to show you how to add the sword holster. I redesigned this whole holster to be bigger so that it can be better attached to the back of the chest plate. So now it won't fall off. Now you can add the swords back there. I really like how the how the um, Deadpool looks with the swords on the back. And um, you can take them off and then add it to the hands. So your kids will love to play with this articulated figure. That's it. I really like how this one turned out. I hope you enjoy the build. And uh, don't forget, if you print it, send and share your pictures in the Maker Wars website or in the place of your choosing. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Keep creating and keep innovating.